Hi, I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. Thank you very much for joining me as I deal with what I think is an extremely important topic that is extremely relevant for clinical presentation at this point. It's about persistent Omicron infection. Why is it that some people seem sick all the time? In this presentation, I'll be breaking down some important points. I'll be looking at two papers, well, I should say one paper, which is the CT findings in hospitalized patients with SARS-CoV-2 Delta versus uh, Omicron variants. And another paper, which is to do with the findings, this is from December, 2021, the findings related to uh, Omicron versus Delta variants, really fascinating information about how exactly the virus works and why it seems to have different impacts on the body. One important thing that I recognize from this is that we shouldn't underestimate Omicron. It's doing its job, but in a different way. Now, before I start getting into this, I will remind everybody about a very important presentation, sudden deaths at home are rising. What options are available to lower the risk? The first problem is, is that you need to understand what the mechanism is. As I've been researching COVID from the start, March 2020, I've looked at autoimmunity. I now integrate those thoughts into these presentations. And everything that I do is largely coming from that perspective, that approach. And so if you are interested in this, register below at Eventbrite. This should become a regular feature where I'll go into more detail and it's open, especially for my Substack um, paid subscribers to put in questions, but for anyone who wants to listen as well. So register at the link below if you want to see this or if you've missed it to see information about where to find it. So let's get back to this question. Why is it that some people seem to be sick all the time? It's almost as if they have this chronic cough. It's what I'd call an Omicron bronchitis. They're always coughing, their chest is tight. They seem to have these symptoms all the time. What is going on? And that's what made me really think carefully about this and made me go to, to the research to try and understand a little bit more. So let's start with this very important paper. And this paper here was only published um, in 2023. So it's a, a relatively new point that has been coming across. And so we always appreciate the um, researchers for putting that together for us. But it's a really important paper that compares Delta to Omicron variants. So let's look a little bit more carefully at it. This was taken from the Department of Radiology in Seoul um, and South Korea. And they were looking at specifically the CT findings, okay, um, CT findings of SARS-CoV-2 between the Delta and the Omicron variants. So they took 88 patients in both groups from a peripheral hospital, and then they looked at the images on their chest to see if there was any significant difference between the two. So that is a critical piece of information. And uh, before I go into the details of it, for those who are seeing a probably shortened version of this, this is what it was, it was looking like, where the red marks here are where the infection is primarily occurring. So we call these ground glass changes occurring primarily in the peripheries of the lungs. This is the, uh, the left lung, this is the right lung, and the red mark here is the infection. When you compare it to Omicron here, the inflammation is not as much in these peripherals, although there is some, but far more centrally located. And this is very important with regards to the symptoms that occur, Omicron versus Delta. And it's that characteristic of the virus that is really, really important with regards to the symptoms that it shows. The other thing that I'll be looking at in a little bit more detail later, but you can have an idea of it here, is looking at this important piece of information from another article 
that was published. So before I show you that, I will show you the article itself. And this article was looking at Omicron um, SARS-CoV-2 can infect faster and better than Delta in the human bronchus, but with less severe infection in the lung. It's exactly what I was showing you there. This was actually from December 2021. And so I'd only recently come across it. And the idea of this paper was that in terms of the bronchus, the, uh, the Delta variant or the Omicron variant is 70 times more efficient at infecting it. And the reason that you have to come back to hear some more details is I'll be going through a few of the slides here. This is showing you the bronchus uh, versus the rest of the bronchial tree and the bronchioles, and this is the lung on the right-hand side. But I'll go into a little bit more detail on that a little bit later. So the main point here is that it seems that Omicron has a predilection, not just for the sinuses, as I've said before, but also for the bronchus. That's very high up in the lung. And they think this could be part of the reason why it spreads so efficiently, because it's always passing out either through breathing, coughing, or speaking, and therefore much more likely to cause infection in those around. And it's this concept that is cough now the most efficient mechanism for Omicron spread based on the fact that it is primarily in the bronchus. And I have these little dots here representing viral particles in this uh, gentleman who is coughing. And you can see the aerosol spread here. I won't get into the debate about whether or not masks are appropriate, but I would only say that your aim should be to reduce your exposure to virus in terms of trying to reduce your risk of infection. Everything is about viral load. It's about how many viral particles can break through your immune defense of your mucosal system. So this is just, uh, in effect, the starting point of our conversation. I want you to join me on Substack so that you can get more information, posts, podcasts, and videos. And you'll also be able to join in with regards to this presentation at Eventbrite. So please look out for that and join me on Substack to get the full presentation of what I'm talking about with regards to breaking down this current paper looking at Omicron causing some kind of inflammation in the mediastinum or in the upper part of the center of the chest. So I hope you find this in, um, valuable. Let's get on and look in more detail at the science.